In the days when Herod was king of Judea, there lived a priest called Zacharias. Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth were good, faithful people getting on in years. Their one sorrow was that they had no children of their own. They thought it was too late. One day, it was Zacharias' turn to burn incense in the sanctuary. This was a great honor. Elizabeth will bear a son, and he will be called John. Your son will be one of God's great men. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit from the moment of his birth. He will turn many of Israel's children to the Lord their God. But, but this can't be true. I'm an old man, and my wife, she's well past childbearing age. I am an angel of the Lord, sent by God to deliver this good news. Because you doubt my word, you will be unable to speak until your son is born. What's taking Zacharias so long? There he is. Look at his face. Like he's seen a ghost. As the angel said, Zacharias had lost his voice. Zacharias? What happened? Why can't you speak? What are you trying to tell us? Zacharias has seen a vision. And as the angel foretold, Elizabeth became pregnant soon after. Hey, Gimmel, ever wonder why angels always say fear not when they first appear? Angel came to Zacharias, wings a flutter in a golden cloud. The angel said, You're a father to be, and your son will make you oh so proud. Zacharias gasped, Zacharias stared. He'd never seen an angel, and he was scared. The angel said, Don't be dismayed, there's no reason to be afraid. The angel said, Rejoice instead, your wife will bear a baby boy, and he'll bring the world delight and joy. The angel said, Rejoice instead, your wife will bear a baby boy, and he'll bring the world delight and joy. A baby boy, delight and joy. Fear not, fear not. <laughs> Zacharias' wife Elizabeth had a cousin who lived in a town called Nazareth. Her name was Mary. <laughs> You're a lucky girl to be engaged to Joseph, Mary. He'll make a fine husband. I know. <laughs> oh, to be young again. <laughs>
Young Joseph, Mary's husband-to-be, was a descendant of King David. And he worked as an apprentice at his father's carpentry shop. Good morning, husband-to-be. Good morning, wife-to-be. <laughs> oh, Joseph, are you all right? Fine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You should get back to work while you still have nine fingers left. <laughs> I'll see you after work, Mary. Uh, maybe later we can walk in the garden. I'll see you then, Joseph. I'm a, um, a, a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. For this reason, the child to be born will be acclaimed holy and the Son of God. Your cousin Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age, because with God, nothing is impossible. I am the humble handmaiden of the Lord. May all that you have told be fulfilled in me. appeared to Mary on a glittery cloud of angel wings this angel brought fair Mary news you'll give birth to the king of kings well Mary gasped and Mary stared she'd never seen an angel and she was scared the angel said my virgin maid there's no reason to be afraid the angel smiled my virgin real or just a dream oh it can't be a dream my eyes are wide open what to do who do i tell of course of course i should tell mother no no if the angel wanted mother to know he would have come when she was here it must be a secret yes but joseph of course joseph must know how can I hide this from him? But, but how do I tell him? How do I make him believe such fantastic news? A few days later, Mary went to visit Elizabeth. As the angel Gabriel foretold, Elizabeth was pregnant. Cousin! You're with child. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm so happy for you. Oh, Mary, it's so good to... <gasps> Elizabeth, are you all right? 
Blessed are you, Mary, beyond all women. And blessed is the child in your womb. You know? But, but how? As you said hello, Mary, as the baby inside me leapt for joy. Happy is she who believed that what was told her on behalf of the Lord would be fulfilled. Because of Elizabeth's words, Mary's remaining doubts were put to rest. Without hesitation, she now believed everything the angel had told her. By the time Mary returned to Nazareth, she was three months pregnant. It was time to tell Joseph the news. Oh, I missed you terribly, Mary. I missed you too, Joseph. You left so suddenly, and then you were gone for three whole months. I worried something was wrong. Oh, Joseph, nothing is wrong. I had to help my cousin through her pregnancy, but that's all. But you seem different somehow. I do? In what way? Is something wrong? Oh, Joseph, I love you now more than ever. Are you sure? With all my heart. And you, Joseph? Do you still love me? <laughs> more than ever, Mary. And to think, I was so worried that things had changed. Mary searched Joseph's eyes, hoping he already knew her secret. Perhaps an angel had appeared to him to deliver the joyous news, but Joseph showed no sign of knowing. Joseph, I have important news, but I don't know how to tell you. You can tell me anything, Mary. I'm ready to listen to anything you have to say. I'm... I'm with child, Joseph. You can imagine how shocked and confused Joseph felt. Mary wanted to say so much, but her tongue was locked. I... I... I need some time to think about this. Joseph didn't know it yet, but he was being tested. Why would Mary do this to me? My heart aches like never before. What should I do? If I break the engagement, I'll be required by law to explain my reason. If the priest learn Mary betrayed me, she'll be punished. I can't let anyone hurt Mary. Maybe we should go ahead with the wedding as planned. Maybe no one will notice her condition. You're right. Can't hide something like that. I know. We could postpone the wedding, and I'll send her away to have the baby in secret. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the best way to handle this. Prophecy, come true. Mary! Mary! Joseph! I am to 
understand now, Mary. I understand. Oh, Joseph. Mary and Joseph had passed the test. <laughs> Mary and Joseph were wed And Joseph took Mary into his home You look worried, Joseph I was just thinking about the ancient prophecy According to the elders, the king of kings is to be born in Bethlehem, not Nazareth the only way you'll get me to Bethlehem in my condition is if you carried me there on your back. All the way to Bethlehem. And who would carry me? <laughs> Emperor Caesar Augustus held a council with his advisors. This can't be right. There should be much more than this. How can we be sure that taxes have been collected from all my subjects? <clears throat> Our problem is we only have a general idea of the population. There are so many provinces, Caesar, and the people speak different languages. We must begin counting them right away. <laughs> decree of Caesar Augustus, all subjects of the Roman Empire are hereby ordered to return to the cities of their fathers and there be counted for the census. The census would create hardship for millions of people, but it was decreed by Caesar Augustus as law. When the news reached Nazareth, Joseph went to see the local tax merchant, hoping for an exception. Um, I, uh, a friend of mine, well, his wife, you see, is with child. Of course, Rome doesn't expect a woman in her condition to travel. Everyone must register for the census, even the lame and the blind. But... No exceptions, Joseph. It's the law. Yes, of course. We have no choice, Mary. Bethlehem is the city of my father, and we must both go to register for the census. But Joseph, it's so far away, and, and I'm almost ready to give birth. If we pace ourselves right, and the weather's with us, it should only be a five-day journey. But what if something happens in the middle of nowhere? Mary... You have been graced by God to bear the Messiah. Do you think God would let anything happen to his child? No. Of course not. Besides, we will be fulfilling the prophecy after all. Bethlehem was 90 miles south from Nazareth. Mary and Joseph's journey would be long and difficult especially with Mary so close to giving birth. Good girl, Jackie. Good girl. Oh. Oh, Joseph. Shall we stop and rest? No. The, the baby won't wait. We must move on. Here, drink. Joseph? Take my mind off the pain. Let's think about all the glorious things to come. Tell me. Mary, you've been graced by God. Chosen and blessed above all others. The power that created the earth and all the stars in the sky conceived the child inside you. Will he be beautiful, Joseph? Oh, he will be so beautiful, Mary. The most beautiful child that ever was born. And we will take care of him so well, won't we? Yes. And God is with us right now. Do you feel him guiding us on our journey, beckoning us onward? Yes, Joseph. I feel him. He will keep us safe, Mary. I know he will. I feel better now, Joseph.
At night, they slept in open fields, saving what little money they had for the baby. They walked and walked and walked. Mary and Joseph found themselves among a throng of pilgrims, peasants, and merchants. Jerusalem. How beautiful. Jerusalem is just as the elders described. Like a rare white jewel. Bethlehem is only five miles to the south now. Oh, we mustn't dawdle, Joseph. The baby's restless, and night is upon us. Wait. I just want one last look at the holy city. Wait, Joseph. Uh, I'll find a midwife to help with the delivery. There isn't time, Joseph. All I need is privacy. We must find a place right away. We need a room, please. You and everyone else. We don't need much space. Just something small and private. Sorry, but you're too late. We rented every cubit of space three days ago. We are so full. People are taking turns to sleep in the same bed. But, sir, you don't understand. My wife is about to give birth. Look around you, young man. Everyone's come to register for the census. People are sleeping in the fields, in the streets. If you'd come three days sooner... Please. We're desperate. My wife can't give birth on the street. Please, I beg you. Did you say your wife is having a baby? Don't get involved. If you'd like, you can stay in the cave below our inn. It's, it's not much. It's where we keep the animals. That's no place to have a baby. It's warm and it's private. And it's the only thing available. We'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. 